We'll keep looking around to see if I can find the path to get to where we're going. Whoa! What's the deal with this? Um... I don't see how I could possibly get through this without hacking. I can't use the- I can't use one block and just be like, Haha! I'll stand on that, I'm safe now. Cool, I almost killed myself just like that, that was actually- that was fast. Is there a hackable node to turn off the power? No. Hey! Beer is mine. That'll make me feel better about all the agony I just put myself through. Okay. I have a second box, that's worth something. Just gonna do a quick save here. Just in case I die or something. Can I jump with box? Ow. Dick. Alright, I can safely stand on box. Good to know. Apparently this is going to be what I do today. I want to find out what's back here, and apparently this works, so I'm doing it. Here we go. But yeah, I, I suspect that this cover-up's gonna be related to the main story, because it'd be a weird detail to have a cover-up related to any of this. I suspect that they, if they don't want to, uh, find out who the killer is, or who's behind all of this crazy espionage nonsense, then they probably have direct ties to whoever's behind everything. I can't believe this is working. I wonder if this is intentional. I'm sure it is. It'd be interesting to know if there was like a... There's probably a hacking node also. Let's see. Don't want to fall in. I'm sure there's a spot where you can hack your way through here too. Because if you hack... If you could hack the power off, that would solve the main problem. At least. Is there a switch around here? That looks like it would do it. Ta-da! And then as I progress through the area, somebody else turns on the power and I die horribly at the end. Alright, well we found our back way in. Anyone around? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here due to the uh, lightning security I just bypassed, but... I think I'll- I think I'll be fine. Anyone around? What's the deal with you? There we go. Hacking position. Uh... 4891. Yeah. I remember the- I remember getting this code. All good? So this must be the place where people were gonna catch me? That's probably the safe. Seraph Industries Incident Report, TA-0051401-2, case TA-0054. Uh, incident, terrorist attack on Seraph Industries Headquarters, Detroit. Officer, De uh, Detective Gene, that's a name, uh, subject, probable use of unidentified high-tech compound. Details. While examining the, t the uh, crime scene, Detective Hayward and I both noticed that the area covered by the attack seemed abnormally damaged, burnt to a degree that could not be explained by a normal fire or the use of any known explosives. It was the same for all the recovered victims' bodies. Residue an analyzed by forensic lab officers in the scene likely comes from a high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It seems the lab's equipment and victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is that this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence, but it just feels odd, like something is off. So, did no one see my ex-wife die? And apparently all the remains were burned to a degree where you wouldn't be able to recognize them? Like, it seems like they might just be presuming she's dead. And maybe I'm, that's gonna be a big reveal later. It's like, oh, she's actually alive! We threw you off. Autopsy report, Megan Reed. Well, this would- I guess this will answer my question, then. Uh, blood type O+, plus, or O positive. 32-year-old female. Path MD, or, path, yeah, uh, Lorne. Preliminary note. I have been appointed by the state to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims of the attack on Seraph Industries. This is due to critical nature of the incident and the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. This is in no way linked to the competence of local ME, Dr. Gerald Campbell, and shouldn't be interpreted as such. Final Diagnosis Vertebral Industries Vertebrae in the neck 
our area are displaced. Abrasion of the bones consistent with severe and sudden uh, stress or presser, pressure. As it, like when the... So is the implication supposed to be that when she gets slapped on the... When she got slapped or punched or whatever in the face that her neck broke? Ligature strangulation. Abrasions found in the neck area. Hard to clearly verify due to severe burns. I thought that's where we we're going to go with that too. Uh, but throat seems crushed. Three, severe burns. Extremely severe burns covered the entirety of the body. Accelerant residue had been sent to chemical lab for analysis. Absence of fumes, residue, and ash in the lungs. Indicate burns are post-mortem. Toxicology report. Blood ethanol, none detected. Blood drug screen, no drugs detected. Clinical pathological correlation. Cause of death is quick and intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crush, uh, crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Dr. Hall, uh, Dana Hall, M.E. The fact that they're so quick to just dismiss things means that there's not a lot of reason to be sure that she's dead. And I don't think there was any mention of DNA evidence or anything around here. There's just a, a body. They can probably tell that it's female for sure. But aside from that, if it's so severely burned, I don't know if they know for sure that it was her. Serve Industries Incident Report. Uh, terrorist attack on Seraph Industries Headquarters, Detroit. Same to officer. Uh, subject 008, confused witness. Details. Apart from Seraph's chief of security, who is still in critical condition in edit, and another lab technician who is lying in a deep coma in the same hospital, the only witness to the attack on Seraph Industries who was left alive is a tech named Arthur Hopkins. Let's see. Oh, Chief of Security was me. I was trying to figure out which part of that was me. I, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, still in a coma in the hospital, because maybe that was when I was getting augmented, but that was the lab technician. Anyway, uh, Arthur Hopkins. Something peculiar regarding the witness's deposition, or lack thereof. When we first got on the scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give a clear description of the incident. The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before allowing us to interview him. But when we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. He couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still haven't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum from, Cap from Captain Penn. The situation has been resolved with the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He suffered from a severe concussion. The matter is closed. Yep, that sounds about as much like a cover-up as it could, because... He was totally coherent and ready to give a story, and then the medical team ma shows up and he gets all confused and crazy. Yep, this is a full conspiracy situation. Cool. Oh, completionist, 300. Experience right there. Also, this, this is the last bit of evidence for me, apparently. Uh, Officer... D uh, yeah, same case. Uh, Officer Christopher Chase. Uh, subject is 23. Attackers are definitely professionals. Quick rundown. There was no trace evidence found at what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There were large numbers of victims, and yet, not many rounds were fired and the accuracy was spot on. The attackers were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Seraph confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just prior to the attack, but that the augmentation itself was unharmed and no files related to it were stolen. The, odd of, the obvious motive here is theft and or corporate espionage, but why then destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor could no doubt benefit from such a catastrophe, but these measures were quite extreme, and to my knowledge, this is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I've bought, brought this matter up to Lieutenant Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete results. Yep, because everyone is crazy. This is a problem. Of course I'm going to try to hack in, right? What could go wrong? I'm pr I might get in some trouble here. Maybe I should save just in case. I don't really know. I think this. I'm not. I'm actually not entirely sure if this game auto saves. To be sh to be fair, uh, doesn't matter. I saved. All right, let's hack that shit. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm gonna be in trouble. Capture software rating too low to hack device. I literally can't hack it. Interesting. We'll have to come back when I can hack more. Unless. Maybe I could just level up my hacking right here and right now, and just be like, bam, I got this. Uh, capture? I have two points, I could just go into level 3 terminals right now. 
It'd be like bam, bam, boom. How about this now? Leveling up to fit a requirement. I have three attempts to do this. Okay. It's okay, I remember how to hack. I got this. I might not have this. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're detected already. Capture, quickly. Let's try to stop them for a bit. There we go. Hacking has failed. That was really fast. I just did something flat out wrong along the way there. That was a little overwhelming. Uh, hack. Oh, I, I get locked down for a while. But it said I have three attempts, right? So we'll hang out. Alright, I'm a little inexperienced at hacking. That was a little rough. I should, uh... I forgot that fortifying my main base takes time and I need to be careful about how I use time or I get in trouble. Alright, we'll, we'll change things up a little bit this time. This time I will try... We'll do nuke to avoid detection, try to, to last a little longer. Give us a head start, right? Alright, good luck. 40% detection rate. 60%. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, go, 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 go. There we go. No special rewards along the way, but I'm just happy to win. Hey, it's open now, right? What are you hiding from me, game? A bracelet. Megan Reed, lab notes. Entry 708. It's hard to fathom it all sometimes, but when I made that breakthrough in my research a couple years ago, I never thought it would get this big. I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it's become to genetics what universal assemblers are to nanotechnology. We're, we're talking about the holy grail of DNA here. Hell, this is Gregor Mendel big. The thing is, I have to bury the truth. Not the discovery, but how I reached my results. It's become harder lately. I betrayed someone, someone I respected, for the sake of my research. I wish I had the chance to fix it, but it got bigger than me. Bigger than Seraph. If this ever came to light, Seraph Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tired. I think I'll just wrap things up for today. One last little clue. Close that up. There we go. So now we've been inside the safe, the final little secret safe. You said completionist and I had all the evidence. I guess technically that might not have much evidence to it, but the bracelet might be important. Let's take a look at that. It's my inventory, right? Right. Painkillers. This is all... Oh, quest. There we go. Quest bracelet. Oops. This item is automatically equipped. It's equipped? Why is it equipped? A Reed family heirloom, this bracelet was passed down to Megan by her grandmother. I have it, at least. So how did they get it? Maybe it was really her body, then, if that's here. I can probably give that to her mother, at the very least, if nothing else. Can I close this? Can I close this? I don't know if you can close doors, really, that much in this game. Alright, so that's the big thing that's outside the main base. We'll see what else we can find around here. I'm wondering if I should go somebody else, somewhere else next. Instead of the police building. Ooh. That seems like something that would give me access to somewhere. So I noticed that investigating the, the suicide terrorist and motherly ties are both taking place in the precinct. So I'm slightly more hesitant to follow up on motherly ties for just the moment because it involves going to a main quest location. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll handle those both at once. But for now, let's, let's go on, on lesser evils, which is the issue of my friend that's getting blackmailed. Ooh, a sewer. Is that an alternate way into the precinct? Also, is the ladder... Is that... You know what? Maybe I should just follow up on that stuff. It's fine. I'm, I'm already here, right? It's like this building, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just curious where this ladder leads to. Sorry, I'm, sorry if I'm off base at all, but I'm just kind of seeing where stuff leads me. There's... Someone's been hanging out down here. That's a little concerning. Definitely getting some vibes of, uh... A few vibes of Mass Effect from here, where it, I want, I'm, I wonder. It seems like there might be, uh, they might be, they might send me somewhere in a helicopter every time we do a major mission. But there's also like the equivalent of the Citadel, where you wander around in an open area and do side quests and talk to people. They don't gonna be mad at me for being here. You are a hobo. You're very well dressed for a hobo. Take a look. Drink it all in. It ain't pretty, is it? It's not. Seems fine to me. Oh well. 
Enjoy your weird, like, image problems or whatever. I, I got other shit to do. I don't care about your problems, lady. It's over here. I have... He, he moves really fast when he's crouched, by the way. I'm pretty impressed, honestly. Alright. This might not lead anywhere. It might just be a fun little area to explore. But I am going under the precinct, I think. Well, that guy's got a gun. He's probably not very happy to see you. I get the feeling they don't take kindly to people. Because they have guns? That's usually a good counterpoint. Let's see here. Is there an alternate way over? Because that seems to be right under the building I'm going for. They even have arrows to indicate, uh, at least seemingly to indicate they're bad guys. They're not, not bad guys, but things that would react to seeing me. So he's patrolling around. I wonder if I can get by while they're split up. This guy's just posed right here. Don't Oop. get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. Woo! They saw me and they're not happy at all. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Seems like I walked right into the worst spot by going through those vents. Let's let's approach from a distance and see if I can find a side path. Do 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 do. -do. Made it. All right. This might work. What do we have around here? Oh yeah, this seems to be an underside of the area. I might come up directly inside the pre the precinct for all I know. Oh, I can shut off the power. That's usually a good thing. Now I can go in the water if I want to. There's also this place. Security rating 3. Gonna have to hack it. I used all my toys last time, so we're gonna have to do it the, the old-fashioned way. Uh, that's a relatively short path. Oh, there's two exits here, huh? So there's little, there's little trinkets I can get along here, right? That's what those data stores are rewards, yeah. But only if you can get away with it. We'll see. I'm, I'm new at hacking still, so I'll be careful about it. I think my approach is going to be, I'm just going to go straight for the, uh, I'll be cautious about it. I'll start off right here, and if I get detected, I'll go straight for the reward as fast as possible. The, uh, the victory as fast as I can. But if I don't get detected, maybe I'll try that little spot over there. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, detection chance is super high. We're probably not getting out of this one. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, we are not detected? We were not detected. I might be able to get a reward then. 100% detection rate. Alright. Watch out for this one. Come on. Come on. Quickly. Quickly. Don't get me stuck here. Woohoo! Wait, oh shit! I did I have to get both of them? I didn't know that? Come on! Oh. Access denied. Alright, well I didn't know it worked that way. Alright, new thing found out. Yeah, I, th I thought I had to get to either of them. I had to get both of those orbs. That might be tough. I might not be able to hack my way through here, but I did shut off the power, so that'll give me an alternate path at least. Yeah. Waiting for the lockdown's kind of a bummer. Alright, let's try this again. I might stop after two attempts, because I only get three attempts, I think. Wait, oh, did it say three remaining attempts? I think it did. Okay, so I need to get both of those, which is rough. No special tricks along here. There's a few rewards, but they're mostly getting me in trouble. I pretty much need to go for both those places as fast as possible. I should probably go up first. Try to get to there for before he does. Oh, man. Wait, can I go both ways at once? Oh, I can. I didn't know that. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I won. You can go in both directions at once, then. So every connected node you can hack at- okay. The controls for this are weird. 
It seems that the moment I unlock one node, I can hack them all at once. I thought I had to wait for one to finish and then do the next one. But I might be able to spam hack everything at once, which seems like it might be a little nuts. Uh, police station. All right. Now we've got our secret entrance. Let's see what this gives me access to, or if I'm just going to get immediately in trouble here. I'll try not to be in trouble. I do prefer not being in trouble in many cases. Hey, look, laser grids. Look, another thing to hack. Oh, well. Uh, four attempts. Sure. That shouldn't be too bad. My, my goal is just to go right up there. There. Oh, we have to go for a while, too. Okay, fine. I got this. Just try to press forward as fast as I can. Also pick up side stuff while I can, because why not? Grabbing things left and right. Go, go, go. I think I got everything, basically. Access granted. Ooh, a stop and a nuke virus. Okay. Uh, inactive. Yes, that is the correct thing. That is what I want. Thank you. Ooh, don't want to get hit by that. Can I hack you from here? Quickly. No, that's just the act. That's the laser. My bad. Let's be very careful here. Alright, that would have that was basically my opportunity to try to sneak past it. I think you can I think you can hide under them, right? Oh my god, it's slow. Yes. Yes, this is a hallway. You should look at the other hallway real quick. Just check the other direction. Maybe it walked away when you weren't looking. Oh, that'd be real spooky. Is it gonna freak out? Or can I hide under it? That is the question. Right? No guardo alerto? Yes. Anyone around? Let's close you before I get in trouble. There we go. Alright, don't have to worry about that guy at least. Ooh. I can rob the guns from the police. I'm not a monster. Well, I mean, they didn't look into my... They didn't look in enough into my, uh... My ex-wife's murder, so... Maybe they... Uh-uh. Should've thought about that. Oh, look, more guards and lasers. This is where I'm gonna find out that there's no reason for me to be sneaking in. I'm just being really weird and creepy right now. Oops. Just trying to find what they're covering up. There we go. Anyone around there? Yep, there's guys over there. Ooh. Look at these. There's a scientist over there. Is that one of the people I'm supposed to meet? M5. I see you! Shit, no you don't. Yeah, yeah, I am. You can't stop me. Woo! <laughs> They'll never catch me now. Is did the alert status go away? Answer appears to be yes. Oh, music's still being dramatic though. Or is that just what it sounds like when you're Jensen, outside? I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny. What did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Yes, I like talking to you too. Uh, did they forget about me yet? <laughs> they forget about me yet? Alright, so, watch out for that. People can just come into the door. Oop, as a surprise. Motherfucker. That's what I get for not hiding the on the corner, right? Maybe he'll go away? Intense, still, espionage action. Some of this stuff would definitely be easier if all the walls weren't glass. So here's the big question, is... Will, is the guy that I uh, sneak up on, is he, going to is he going to alert the guards or not? Prefer him not to. Stop being alarmed. There's no reason to be alarmed. There's nothing alarming about the situation. You're in the you're in the police precinct. It's like the safest place in the world, right? 
Door is still open. Nothing down there. I might not want to do this yet. He's still alarmed. Stop being alarmed. Also, move slightly faster. Yes, alarmed status has been lost. The fuck is that? Why do you go back to being alarmed? Stop that. Where's this guy? Is he still in this building? Did he go outside? I think he might have gone outside the room now. Oh yeah, alarm status has dropped. What did that? That was weird. Anyway, just gonna go sneaking around a bit. Don't mind me. Can I close that? Nope. Also, I'm trying to go in the other room. My bad. How do I go in that room? How do I go in that room? Oh, hack the door. That thing. Alright. What level are you? Level one, I got this. Right? Right. Alright, let's zoom it. Keep looking around on accident. So, is time still passing right now? Is an obvious question to be concerned about. So I'm a little concerned about that. Back up or else. Fuck me. Um. Last warning. I. I'm sorry. Ow. 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 I learned something today, which is that time still passes when you're hacking, which is kind of a big deal. I didn't necessarily know that before. And ow, I almost died. Ow. My insides and my outsides. Okay, so new thing to worry about. Time passes when you are uh, hacking. Also, I'm probably in trouble now because I feel like they would be able to report, hey, this guy looks like Adam Jensen was breaking in. Like, you think I'd be pretty screwed already, right? Because uh, as they say, I'm hard to miss. Well, health recovery was relatively fast, at least. Nope. Is that guy still around? Yeah, he is. Calm down, buddy. Searching area. The suspect seems to have run. What, in fact, will we do about this? I may need to knock him out at this point. Because he is actively being a problem for me. Well, I could turn off the camera. That'd be nice. It'd be very nice for me. Can I just pop him in the head right right from here and just uh knock him out? Would the camera recognize someone being knocked out as being a bad thing? I'll be waiting for you, pal. Who's this guy who doesn't call for backup? He's a police officer and someone's trespassing. Why would you not immediately alert the people that see I, there seems to be a bunch of people nearby? It's like a busy building and stuff. Oh well, just gonna sneak past here. Hopefully he won't come right back to the spot in the next few seconds. That'd be unfortunate for me. Chased him off, I guess. Chased him off, I bet. I guess. I'm a good old chaser offer, you know. Damn it. Definitely want that closed so he doesn't spot me. Ooh, he opened the door, which I opened. Good job, me. We need to get in there. So yeah, I've, there's been a few hiccups in this infiltration, but I, uh, I'm willing to overlook those if you are. Is he gonna look back, or is he gonna keep walking? Uh, he, he's gonna, there he goes, I saw him go. What's that guy's deal? About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet, and I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. I can take a skull. Yummy. Hacker's brain chip. 
Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Well, this guy's not nearly as phased so far. The threat of cybernetic di uh, discognition disorder. OPE uh, op-ed column in the New Cybernetics Journal, Fall 2015 edition by Hugh Darrow. Someone that apparently does a lot of writing, and we get to hear from a lot today. Uh, like every other new technology, from the automobile to the television, human augmentation has been uh, pillarized as a menace that will destroy our society from within and reduce us all to drooling imbeciles. I'm certain that, like me, you're just as tired of this reaction to dog whistle punditry. But we can't shy away from the fact that, indeed, cybernetics are a double-edged sword. By making human augmentation a technology free for all, we run the risk of it falling into the hands of distressed and the mentally unfit individuals. There's no denying that augmentations change the way that you think about yourself, but no more than one would after cosmetic surgery. And this so-called cybernetic discogni uh, discognition disorder seems to be little more than a convenient label slapped on a much deeper problem. The fact is, adding cybernetic implants to your body will no more destroy your sanity than playing video games will make you a psychopath. What we must be watchful for are those whose already fragile mental states will be destabilized further by augmentation. Which is actually, yep, they, they totally went the uh, video game violence route, which is... Something that I would, when I was feeling lazy in school, I would just do more and more papers on that subject because teachers don't talk to each other, so you could just do the same subject for multiple classes and no one notice. An alarm panel. Ooh, that could be useful to hack into. Is this guy not, ooh, nuke virus. Is this guy not phased by me going through his stuff at all? Maybe he doesn't see me because I'm standing behind him and that makes me invisible. Ooh, credits. I like free stuff.